you join us here today for an unprecedented event, Man vs. Porridge. I'm interested to know, how does Steve like his porridge? All his oats, crystallized ginger, and a semi-skimmed milkman. He's a milkman? Yes, in his porridge, he is a milkman. Now I assume there's going to be a straitjacket involved? Oh yes, oh yes, a very, very strong straitjacket indeed. Let's take a look. The unique thing about this straitjacket, it's made of canvas, but it doesn't have the usual buckle straps. It has grip straps, which makes it extremely difficult to get off. I assume these jackets weren't made to be taken off easily. If at all. Yes, very true. Steve has been secured into the straitjacket today by Matt. I don't suppose Matt minds if he gets out or not. He'll have the PlayStation to himself. <laughs> very true, very true. You can see those grip restraints really holding tight there. Once they grip, they're very hard to release. So how long will Steve have to escape from the straitjacket before his porridge is ruined? Well, we're going to put two minutes on the clock, really. After that time, the porridge is going to overflow. It's going to be a, a complete mess. No escape, no porridge. And a big clean-up as well. Matt seems to be having a problem getting that straight jacket securely onto Steve. Yes, that straight jacket is actually a smaller size. And with all the porridge Steve has been eating over the winter, it really is a tight fit. It's really like he's being squeezed into a corset today. Yes, and here comes the icing on the cake. It's time for the crotch strap. Oh, he's taken that well. Yes, a slight redness in the face, but I think he's still standing. Still standing. And the crotch strap is a vital part of the yes, straitjacket. Yes, this is to stop the victim from getting the straitjacket over his head. We've done painful results, I imagine, if he tries. Yes, he'll be moving up to the next level in the choir if he tries that. So time to secure the arms there. I can see from the footage that the straps attached to the arms are sewn on the outside. Yes, this is to stop any jiggly pokery. And also the same grip restraint is used to secure these straps as well. Okay, I think we're going live now. He's about to start the escape. Will he get his porridge? He's got two minutes to answer that question. Starting from now. This straitjacket is super tight. This is going to be really difficult. Yes, it's going to be one to watch. Can, can you see what he's doing now? He's trying to work his arms up over his head. Can Houdini use to dislocate his shoulder? Yes, this can help in getting the slack that you need to get your arms over your head. And I believe Steve has a snowboarding injury on his shoulder. That, that's going to really affect things, isn't it? From the expressions he's pulling, it's not comfortable. Oh, oh so close. He's going for it again. Yes. He's still getting now I've got to work those buckles down his back and then go for the crotch and strap. Those grips on those buckles are not easy. He's having a lot of trouble. I think he might have an itch. <laughs> you can't joke. He's working hard. He's not giving up. He's going for it. Amazing. I can't believe he's on the final stretch. He's just got to get that jacket over his head now. He's using his foot. What a great idea. That should give him the leverage. You can do it. You can do it. Yes, you those straight jackets are not designed to be removed. Yes, yes. He's he has last. done it. With 28 seconds left to go, he has done it. 28 seconds to go, he's definitely earned his point. You're not kidding. Let's see a replay of that final action. And look at that final moment. That success. Yes, I don't think we're going to see an escape like this ever again. Yes, let's hope not. <laughs> Join us again next time. So I just wanted to ask, why does Steve have a straitjacket? 